of Akron saying sorry. This after more than a dozen school buses got stuck on unplowed streets. Yep, the city is taking the heat, but the roads, still a sloppy mess out there. News 5's Taylor DeHaze is live in Akron to show us what the roads look like. Now I'm on Clay Street and like you said, still a slushy mess out here. Slippery too. Now this is exactly why hundreds of kids were late to school today and some not even making it to class. Some tardy, others made it in the nick of time. Basically a piggyback ride to, to, to school. And uh, you know, I had to walk through all the snow going down the street here on Clay Street. Joe Ware carried his grandson to school after his car wouldn't cut through the crud. So he took to the snowy sidewalks. I didn't want my kid, you know, my grandchild to have to walk through it and have wet shoes and have to go to school with wet feet. So I carried him on my back. Like Clay Street, others around Akron look the same. More than a dozen school buses got stuck, one even hitting a tree. No students were injured. Akron Public School spokesperson Mark Williamson says hundreds of students were late. We don't want children walking uh, in the streets. Uh, but if we waited until all the sidewalks were cleared to have school again, uh, we might not have school for a very long time. Mayor Dan Horrigan is asking the city to reassess every policy and procedure related to winter storm cleanup, making sure this fiasco doesn't happen again. Taking responsibility, the city of Akron issued a formal apology. In part, it reads, we have failed to provide a timely level of service to all city streets. We are sorry. Where is asking for a little less talk and a little more action. We need them cleaned. We need uh, people to take responsibility of getting their sidewalks cleaned off too, where people don't have to walk out in the street and uh, potentially get hit. Now, to get these streets cleaned up, the city has issued a citywide parking ban. So make sure you move your cars off of the road so they can get plowed. Otherwise, you could get towed. Live in Akron, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.